What's up guys, I'm going to do another Call of Duty World War 2 video, and today we're going to be going into Prestige 5, uh, or is it 6? I don't actually know right now, but uh, yeah, so I'm chilling here, apparently everyone's doing their exercises for today, and uh, oh, that guy, <laughs> alright, whatever, but uh, yeah, see we're eligible for Prestige, um, and yeah, it's taken a little while to do this Prestige, but I think that's okay, since, you know, we've been playing some Black Ops 3 lately, been doing some stuff on there. Okay, we're going into Prestige 6, alright. And, yeah, so, things have been uh, going kind of slow for this Prestige, but it picked up towards the end. I uh, started playing the game again, because they've added in, or uh, they changed divisions around and did a bunch of kind of updates to the game. But then they also uh, put in these orders that now give you weapons as well, so every day... You can get a brand new weapon, which the weapon for today is a heroic BAR, so I gotta do that, but yeah, it's really awesome. Um, my KD has gone up. I've pretty much only been playing War since about like December, but I actually started playing some other modes recently, that's why I'm getting close on some of these challenges, but uh, yeah, so that's why my KD has gone up. It is now a 1.57, I almost have 10,000 kills. 6,300 deaths, 326 score per minute. I almost have a two win loss, and I played for four days and 17 hours. Um, for my classes, haven't used very many of these besides, I mean, I did have the Sten on, and I've been kind of working on this a little bit. Um, I can prestige the weapon, but, you know, I have a challenge to do a, uh, an SMG suppressor one. Um, yeah. Been using the uh, Volkstrom, whatever it's called. Using this one, the one that nobody can pronounce uh, a little bit. I uh, started using some LMGs because I've been playing on Shipment 1944. So I've been ranking some of these up and uh, doing pretty well with them. I got the uh, this one here. I got the MG15 maxed all the way out. And uh, with the brand new uh, prestiges that they added in. So now it goes up to prestige four on every single weapon. So that kind of sucks because before I had a lot of weapons like maxed out, <clears throat> like all my snipers, shotguns and stuff like that. But now it's like I got to do another two prestiges on those. But uh, you can get some cool challenges, but I'm pretty sure every weapon has the same challenges. It has, you know, double kills and then triple kills. And that's like, it's kind of hard to get triple kills with some of these weapons, you know? So... And especially since you have to get to the like fourth prestige and then start these challenges, it makes it even harder. And yeah, so ranking these up, we're getting there though. Um, started using my shotguns again since you know I got to rank these up all the way back up to fourth prestige now, and do that. My divisions are coming along nicely. I've got two divisions done. Um, I'm pretty much almost done with airborne, and almost done with expeditionary. I just need to do. The last little bit for armored, and then a whole nother prestige for resistance. So, yeah, that shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, yeah, we do have a permanent unlock token that they gave us because we um, we permanently unlocked primed way back when. But with this latest update, they removed primed from the game. So if you used a permanent unlock token on it, they give it back to you. So. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, I've had on these super high streaks because I've had uh, requisitions on this for shipment 1944. Really good, allows me to get tons of kills and stuff. But yeah, um, if we go into my combat record here, you can see my best stat snapshot is a 13 KD. I'm pretty sure this is all just the same game is what this like best stat snapshot thing is for. It's just my best game and because I've, I'm pretty sure in like previous Call of Duty games, it just shows like your highest for each individual stat. So it's like your highest KDR, your highest score, your highest kill streak, and it could be from different games. But in this game, it just is from the same game that you played. Um, my best weapon is the bar. Best score streak is flamethrower. Lethal is definitely the satchel charge. Love it so much. Six hundred and nineteen kills with it pretty good you know 125 multi kills that's more than any of these other ones and uh yeah best mode is tdm i don't really know how i think it's just based on kde or something but i have a uh, a really great time in war you know that's where all but 
Oh, I mean, I guess... Okay, so my war kills don't count. I... Yeah. It looks like my war kills don't count towards my overall kills. So I would have about 20,000 kills if I wasn't playing war. But, yeah, so... That is pretty much all of that. Uh, we can go ahead and we can prestige here in Call of Duty World War II. Bingo. Let's go. Permanent unlock tokens. Now we got two of them. Going back to level one. And uh, I mean, initially when I did this, like when I, with last prestige, I uh, prestiged as well on my PlayStation 4 account. But I decided I'm not going to do that because, like, I wanted to do them at the same time. So I prestige on the same day and everything on uh, Xbox and PlayStation. But I decided, you know, that's a little too much work. I'll just prestige whenever I get to that level. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah, so I'm getting there. I'm almost to second prestige on PlayStation 4. And uh, those videos, you guys can check those ones out on my extras channel. But, yeah, so... What should we permanently unlock? Okay, so these DLC ones, these ones are all... Oh, I guess we did permanently unlock those two. Huh. Okay. It's not bad. Uh, 19, I don't know. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what I should do. Could do a secondary... Now the shovel is already permanently unlocked, I guess. Hmm. What could we do for this? Saboteur? When's that unlocked? Oh, it's unlocked from the start. Hmm. No need to do a division. Um, I already did the satchel charge. Really? Wow. We've got so much stuff already permanently unlocked. Well, in that case... Uh, what was I? Oh, score streaks. That's what I was going to do. I was going to do the. What should I do? Should I do. I think carpet bombing is better. So I'm going to use one on the carpet bombing. Oh, that's only 34. I shouldn't. Mm, oh, well. That's 53. And our last one. That's 33. 18. Let's check out some basic trainings. Let's see the ones down here at the bottom. Well, something like this is for flanker. I hate how it doesn't tell you what it does until you've like already unlocked it. Hmm. Well, we might as well go for something that's a higher level so I guess we'll do the M1903 we'll permanently unlock that weapon okay yeah well that is that um yeah we are prestige 6 now in Call of Duty World War 2 pretty awesome I'm really excited about that uh, we've been ranking up pretty quick lately so it's been a, a good time we also have uh, an event going on there. right now with a bunch right. of these stuff. Okay, yeah. Not too bad. Um, Going to be doing another supply drop opening video for the Blitzkrieg here pretty soon, right before it ends. Trying to get the last items for it. But yeah, so... That is basically everything for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is me going into Prestige 6 here in Call of Duty World War II multiplayer. I'm super excited about this, trying to hit Master Prestige and everything. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.